All right, I have installed Ubuntu and I'm on the Grub startup menu. After installing Ubuntu, I'm unable to boot into Windows 10 and here are all the startup options. If I select this one, I get my login screen for the Ubuntu, which would normally be okay, but I'm unable to connect to my Wi-Fi at the moment. I don't think I have the proper driver and without internet access will not be able to do anything in that operating system. So um, go into Windows Boot Manager and I get this error code. Uh, yeah, so obviously not good. Press escape to go into the UFI settings. And I've done the F2 system diagnostics and have done the compo component tests for both my hard drives. Long and quick tests both have passed. Um, I have dis disabled secure boot and I can boot with legacy, whatever that means. Um, if I go to, I will do the, start with the boot device options. So Ubuntu works fine. Here is my Windows 10 uh, recovery drive. I'm unsure what both of these are. If I go down here, this is my SSD and this is my terabyte hard drive. I'm not very technical in what the, this is again my flash drive and then I'm not sure what the network controller is. But here is what I get when I do the uh, recovery drive. Normally it doesn't take this long, it's being a little slow. There we go, it's loading up now. So I get the Windows install, the start of the setup for Windows, so I click on next. I have tried repair your computer, so let's go into that. Troubleshoot. I have tried startup repair and we get the startup repair couldn't repair your PC go back to advanced options troubleshoot advanced um Let's try system repair and we get the so that didn't work. Advanced options, system image recovery, and I get the cannot find a recovery image on this. I've tried inserting my recovery drive. It's plugged in. retry nothing. I've tried just select nothing, refresh, advanced. Nothing in here for me to select. No drivers for me to install. This is the uh, USB again that has all the recovery drive for your Windows. So let's go out of this. Cancel. Cancel. 
go back to troubleshooting advanced options we have also tried doing a reset this PC and keep my files since I don't want to lose anything and this is the message I get Windows is installed the drive where Windows is installed is locked unlock the drive and try again so I cancel that troubleshoot just tried that advanced options I don't want to try go back to the previous build in case I lose some of my files and now we're going to try the, the UEFI firmware settings so Let's go into the um, system recovery. It's running a little slow. Okay, let's try that again. F11. Nothing is happening at the moment. So we'll explore a different avenue. Network boot. This is the message I get. Back in here, next, repair your computer. Same, same screen. So let's go back. We'll turn off PC again. So we're starting up again. So let's go down to system setup to go directly in. So here we go. Um, Let's go into the BIOS. So here we are, system file information, storage, sorry, secure boot configuration, F10 to accept, and see we have legacy support, secure boot disabled, fast boot, let's try disabling that. Okay, we still have our 
our boot manager set up, let's try booting it from the recovery drive this time. So we'll go into boot device options. And again, here's the flash drive, the cruiser glide with the recovery on it. So we'll start that up. Loading. So here we go. Back in this one more time. Here. Install now. Setup is starting. Taking its sweet time. Okay, here we go. General Microsoft Agreements. Next. I generally wa want to keep all my files, settings, and applications, so let's do upgrade. Computer started using Windows installation media, remove installation media and restart your computer so that Windows starts normally. Insert installation media and restart the upgrade. I've followed these steps and when I do that it goes to a black screen saying disk not, or media not detected even when the flash drive is present. Anyone could help would be greatly appreciated. Thanks.